What is going on everyone? Thank you guys for clicking on this video. I hope it helps you out. And if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you check out all the other videos I got about the Salmon River. Hopefully it'll help you out. And in today's video, we are gonna talk about a couple of hot spots on the Salmon River. Now, whether you're a first time goer to the Salmon River and you're just looking for a spot to go, you have no idea where to go, I'm gonna help you out with that. Or if you've already been to the Salmon River and you just can't make up your mind, you're feeling it indecisive, hopefully this video helps you out on where you're gonna go for your next trip. So let's not waste any time, let's start this off. All right guys, so first off, we're gonna talk about the Black Hole. The Black Hole is a great spot to hit on the river if you're going early season. It is located just above the DSR, so if you're looking for a public spot that's on the lower end of the river, this may be the spot for you. It's a good spot for early season kings, and due to the fact that it is the deepest pool on the river from October, you can target steelhead by float fishing all season long. It is a very, very cool spot. It's beautiful. You have the rapids just above the DSR. That's a good spot to watch the salmon come up. Or you can fish the rapids around the bend past the deeper pool. And that's a really good spot too. You will see a lot of people fishing there. It's probably the most productive spot in the black hole all right guys the second spot i want to talk about is the town pool the town pool is essentially the epicenter of the salmon river this fishing hole is located smack in the middle of town so expect big crowds from sun up to sundown you can stand on the bridge and watch the salmon swimming upstream and learn by watching how the fishermen catch these incredible fish so if it is your first time coming up to the salmon river and you just want to take a minute to just stand back and watch how others do it this is a great spot just hop on top of the bridge you can just relax and you can watch the fishermen see how they do what tactics they do what works what doesn't work and being the fact that you guys are on top of the bridge you can see how the fish react to what these anglers are doing it's a great learning spot and honestly just a great spot to just hang out and watch what's happening all right guys spot number three is one that's close to my heart i really love this spot pineville the best fishing in Pineville is said to be south of the bridge. It is a deep hole that holds huge numbers of salmon before they make the run north of the bridge through the rapids. But if you guys fish the north side of the bridge, fish the bank opposite of the parking lot. There's a deeper channel that runs there and that's where the fish will run nine out of 10 times. Also, if you guys are fishing the south end, it is a great, great spot for steelhead, bobber fishing at its finest, float fishing rather, and that's a really, really nice spot. A lot of kinks hold up in that pool before they make that run. Uh, really beautiful area. You can expect big crowds, but there's plenty of space to walk around. There's trails, so you can really, if you're into hiking, you can really go a little ways down the river and find yourself a nice suitable spot. And that's one of my favorite spots. I think you guys will like it. All right, guys, and last but not least, spot number four I got for you guys today is the world famous trestle pool. So the trestle pool is definitely one of the most popular spots on the river. It's a good sized pool and it holds big numbers of fish. You want to fish the south side of the pillars. Great spot for kings and many people will tell you that it is the best place for steelhead on the entire river. Trestle Pool is a world-renowned spot on the Salmon River. It is an amazing spot. You get a lot of Chinook salmon, aka king. You get a lot of coho in there and tremendous numbers of steelhead. It is a good spot. The fish will hold there up until they hit the rapids and it's just, it congregates a lot of fish, guys. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was helpful to you, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. I hope you guys like the drone shots. I try to explain these pools to the best of my knowledge, but keeping it short and sweet at the same time. If it did help you, please give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want me to do more videos about more spots. If you do want to see that, I will make sure in the future, whether it be this season or next season, I will post some more content about all the spots on the Salmon River. So with that being said, good luck on the Salmon River. If you guys do end up watching this video and going to one of these spots and you do get a fish, please come back to the video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you did. That's going to be so awesome if I was able to put you in a spot where you caught a fish. So if you guys are going to be on the Salmon River, I want to say good luck to you. I'm going to be there shortly. I'm going to be right there with you guys. 
trying to catch a lot of fish this year, and it's going to be a great time. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. And until next time, tight lines.